Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nidhi, a corporate trainer, NLP coach and a sound therapist. Until recently, I used to be a proud Singapore girl. Well, yes, I used to fly with Singapore Airlines, one of the best airlines in the world. I flew with the airline for 10 years, five years as a non-ranking crew, got promoted to a leading stewardess, was there in that role for another five years. I also used to be a trainer with Singapore Airlines for almost about six years. And here I am today to share my experiences, my tips with all of you, because what better use can I have with all that experience but to share it with you guys. And if being a cabin crew is your dream, I can help you to make it into a reality. Watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. Let me run you through what happened with me. And this is about 10 years back, right? But I still have the memories so vivid. I got shortlisted for my Singapore Airlines interview and I, I got a call that I'm supposed to be at this place for my uh, final interview day call. I wake up in the morning, I collect all my documentation and I get myself ready. So I reach and one of the first things that I had to do was make friends very, very quickly because you want to know what's going on. You really don't know what the process is all about. You want to make friends. You want to find out what's happening, right? And I remember we were talking about, oh, wow, we're going to be traveling the world if we get selected. While she was talking about all of this, in my mind, I was thinking about, yes, traveling, wow, but a lot of jet lag, right? Uh, what about my skin? Will my skin be able to handle all this? How about uh, socializing with all these people on the plane? What, what the job is all about? I want to share the reality with you guys. I want you to be prepared for the job that you're about to get into. So I'm going to talk about six important things. Number one. Prepare yourself mentally for the job. It's a lot of travel, a lot of fun, going from one place to the other. You're up in the air for 14 hours, you land into a place, you do a lot of shopping. But that 14 hours that you're in that flight to get to USA, you have to work a lot. You have to deal with people, you have to deal with colleagues, you have to be resourceful. There's a lot more to the job than just traveling. So I want you guys to mentally prepare yourself for the job. Point number two, I want to talk about physically preparing yourself. As I said, you'll be working in that plane for 14 hours. The fact that you won't be able to sleep in the plane, you'll be fatigued, you'll be jet lagged. So you need to prepare your body physically to be able to deal with different weather conditions, different climates. And when I talk about body on a physical level, I also mean taking care of your face, taking care of your hair. You're the face of the airline. Point number three, emotionally prepare yourself. Well, as much as it sounds very simple to go up in the air and serve passengers, trust me, you will be dealing with people who might be frustrated, disappointed, happy, with a lot of emotions. Let me share this with you guys. I still remember the first month of our flying and we were doing a Hong Kong 10. It was a tiring flight. It's exhausting because you have to be on your toes for those three and a half hours. And being new, I messed up. So my supervisory crew got really, really upset with me. And given the pressure of things that we needed to do, he really did not have a lot of time to explain things to me or be nice to me. He just wanted to get things done. So you have to be ready to be able to deal with that pressure emotionally. Point number four, be social. This job requires you to talk to a lot of people on a daily basis. During these months that you're waiting for your call to get shortlisted, talk to people. Take that opportunity to just have random conversations with people. You know, believe it or not, I actually talk to taxi drivers when I'm sitting in the cab just because I want to be social and I want to use that opportunity to test my skills. So go out there and talk to people. Talk to your friends, talk to, not to random strangers, but have random conversations with people. And a lot of times being social actually helps you to avoid a lot of conflicts on the flight. So it's going to help you throughout actually. And the fifth thing that I want to talk about is believe in yourself. 
a lot of people might tell you that you're not pretty enough to clear the interview. A lot of people might tell you you don't speak well. Don't listen to them. If you think there is something that you want to work on, work on it. Make yourself efficient to be able to get to that point where the interviewers cannot reject you. But don't listen to people, just listen to yourself. The sixth thing that I want to talk about is if you become a cabin crew, which you will of course after watching all these videos, people say you're always a cabin crew, which means that even in your daily life, the things that you do will be as if you're a cabin crew. After I finished my training and I went back home for the first time, when my mom actually put food on the table, the first thing that I told her was, thank you. <laughs> That's funny, right? Because I've never said thank you to my mom for my entire life for giving me food. We just take it for granted. She's my mom. It's her job to give me food, right? But that's what a cabin crew is all about. You say thank you to everything and anything that people do for you. You live by these four words. Sorry, please, thank you, and excuse me. Learn those little things that make a cabin crew different from just a regular office executive. Try doing that for those months that you're preparing yourself even before the interview. When you get to that interview, that process becomes very, very natural for you because then you don't have to make an effort. So these are the six things that I wanted to talk to you about and I really hope that you can actually start practicing them. If you like what I've shared, please like this video, subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing a lot more information and tips and of course my experiences with you guys, which I'm really, really happy to do all the time. And keep watching, stay tuned, love you.